Anyone feeling hungry? Yes, I think so, because I can smell chocolate tonight, because we're making chocolate cake. Let's go, before I make you hungry even more. Right then, we're going to do eggs, raisin flour, sugar, and butter. Let's get that one out, actually, talk about butter. Right then, that's the bowl to put the mix in. Aha, there we go. So, first of all, let's do the eggs, because it's ready to be in here. So I'm going to move this down so you can see that you need to do two eggs for these ones. Let's do one now. There you go, that's one egg. Off you pop. Let's go. And another one. Even my dog's watching me now, watching the cake. She knows I'm a good chef, I think. Joking. Right, that's two eggs. Right then, next thing, let's do... Four ounces of butter, as we hear. So you need to see this, because it's important. Okay, but I'll move that out of the way now it's been used. Four ounces of flour. One, two, three, four. I'll put a little bit more on top. Right, that's it. Let's put that in its bowl in here, in its corner. You can see it's in there now. I can move that away, then you can see again. Come on, let's get a little bit in. Right then, uh, next thing is a self raising flour. I'm making a white mess here. Right then, let's pour eight ounces of flour. So basically double it till it gets another eight, which is, oh, too much, too much. Let's have a look on there. Let's have a look at there. Ah, too much still, right. To the rescue, let's have a look. Sometimes you've got to be careful. Almost there, just need another one. Let's have a look. Yep, perfect. So now that's in there, let's put that in there. And then eight ounces of sugar. That's the main lot. Now that's all of it. Whoops, some of these bags have been covered in flour. Got to sort that out now. Right then, that's all ready to go. Now, I was going to say, this, you add some milk into it as well to give it a nice and smooth look. That's ready. I'll keep this just in case. But first of all, that's all ready to go. Let's go and cook this pastry. In position that way, makes it all in nice and smoothly. Looks like that might be it. What's he behave? Okay, I think it needs a little bit more milk because it's a bit chunky still. Right then. I think that'll be all right now. Let's go. One, two, three. That looks better now. Look 
Make sure you've got it all the edges as well, because there will be chunks of bits where we're going. melt this Cadbury's chocolate. So, in case you didn't know, you can, get, you can actually go to Cadbury's World, put a link below, and you can find out how chocolate is made originally. So, Cadbury's World is in Birmingham, I've been there. If you haven't seen it, then check the website below, I will send it. It's depending if you're up for it, really. But yeah, it's good, it's all right. It's interesting how the chocolate's made, though. So now, I'll talk about chocolate. I'm gonna add these drinking chocolate powder into the pastry, so. All you have to do is buy one of these or get chocolate powder. You can get a big version if you need to, but I'm just using this to show you. Right, here we go. Right then. Right, you can see here, it's all going in. It's all going in nicely, just make sure everything's out. Chocolate powder's out. Now I saw these because they're on offer at the moment, so I thought why not. Let's, let's try and mix it together. If we need more, I've got one there just in case. Let's do this. I think we're going to be quite cheeky and make it more nicer. Just add another pile. Normally use one first, depending on how much you put in really, but to make it nice, I'm gonna double it. I'm gonna show you how to make ice in front of here today. And I spare off like that. Right then, let's go. Oh, you can actually smell that chocolate. Now it looks proper chocolate now. Obviously you got to be careful because chocolate is splattered everywhere then, in case you didn't see. Now that's off, switch that off before blades cut your fingers off, which nearly happened to me other week. But all right, though, I still got them. But yeah, give it a good bash. And just put it in the sink. Now, before I do anything else, I'm going to clear up the surface because it's full of chocolate now and I made a right mess. So, we're going to show you what we're going to do next in the moment. Now that's all mixed, let's put these trays full of the cake pastry. Let's do it. Oh, I see. Oh, yes, yes. So we've got to make sure it's all equal. Yeah, <laughs> everyone's just looking at me at the moment. So I'll show you in a minute how it's supposed to look like, but you just chug it in. <coughs> oh god, it smells really good. Right. Make sure it's when you empty all this out. So, 
sometimes things like this can take quite a while to get it all sorted. So I've got a load of this now. So now you can see what it looks like at the moment. So I'm going to carry on because there's not, not many of it left, not much left. Oh god, look at this. That's good. Go on, Lexi. Then now I'll just put it around, just make it nice and flat because so we'll, it's ways and flat, so it rise. Too much. No, just make it more chunky, I suppose. Well, yeah, you press the air out of it if you press it too much. You need air to help it grow. Not bad it's got the flower or something in there. Ah, you just noticed that. Mm. Not on you, purpose. You knew. Well, until I looked at it. Right, that's your cake. Now let's put it in the oven. So that will be for half an hour. So I'm going to. Put this in the oven. Actually, how, how does it work? Oh. Put one at the top, one at the bottom there. Thank you. Don't worry about that. And of course, one will be raising more than the other. So, the next bit now, I'm going to wash all the stuff and then go through again to show you how to do ice in the middle. And then I'm going to decorate the cake when it comes up. Spare me for a few minutes. Mmm, mm, mm. I think we should check this now because it's been longer than enough. It smells, smells of chocolate. I can smell it. Oh, let's get it out. Let's get it out. One. And your second. Oh, don't touch it just in case. Now for these, you have to make sure, hold on a minute. You have to make sure with a knife if it's dry or not. You can tell by putting this in, if it's dry, which it, it is, that one is, and this one, that means it's ready to be served. But before that, we're gonna make icing now, so. Stay with me for a minute. We're not going anywhere yet till it's finished. Now for this, you know, you will need margarine and icing. Now you need six ounces of sugar and four ounces of margarine to make it more tasty. And then after that mixing, we're gonna add a bit of powder again. Anyway, let's just do it before I forget things again. So three ounces, so uh, four ounces, sorry. That's oh, just half of it left. Three, ah, oh, never want. Nearly there. Yeah, we're there. So let's put that in here. And now, put that away. And let's do the final bit for this cooking by putting icing in. So you will need six ounces for this one. Okay, and put that in here as well. 
And then you should look at it, really, because this is how it looks like at the moment. But I'm gonna, now I'm gonna take you to that side to show you how to whisk it properly again, which is like what we did the other one. Right, let's do this. One more playing around of it. That's it for tonight. Now it will be a bit messy just to let you know, it is a bit messy game. using powder for the chocolate. That's sorted, now powder, let's add it. Chocolate everywhere, lovely. Now, if you want proper chocolate icing with a cake, this is how you do it like that, and then one more to go. That's it. Once this mix in, that's it. See how it's all mixed up with chocolate? You might can smell chocolate from here. Icing, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'm going to show you how to, to put the cake from one side to the other and then start adding with stuff after. That's the next bit. Right, let's get the cake. There you go, one for the other. So now for this bit, got the cake because it's still warm, you use a knife to go around it. So. your first one and the same for the other one just take care of this now one side will be flat and one side will be tipped over because one of them will be for the top From there. Right then, next thing is the exciting bit. So that will be the head. This is, will be the bit now I'm going to be doing and showing you how to do it. So I'm going to put the, all the icing in here. So 
Watch this. Right, here we go. Right then, now that's all put together, now you just need to spread it along. It's quite thick at the end, so... Make sure you put it outside of the edge as well. Once you, once you fill it around the edge. You just put the other one on top, I think. Just don't do too, too much. Now this, a lot of people liked in the past, so I'm going to show you today how it works. So it's the first time to put this on YouTube, but maybe you like it. All right then, I'll put that on top, because now that is the important bit. Like this bit, I've got a flat on top. And that, basically, ladies and gentlemen, this is your <laughs> Look at that, that's your chocolate cake ladies and gentlemen That looks nice Now I'm going to do some something special to this I'm going to put some chocolate cubes to melt it So watch this All you have to do with this one is simple Just the Heating is all right at the moment, it's just freaking. Not all of it, but some of it. If I can open it. It's just tear me here. Of course I will. If I can get into it today. This is so weird how, oh here we go. So I'm going to say half of it. Well, pretty much. I'm going to put the rest of the fridge. Into cubes now, that's what you need to do. Into cubes. It feels melting already because it's been out already for the last 10 minutes. Now I'm feeling the heat. That's your chocolate. Now put it in for a few minutes and I'm going to explain what it's going to do now. So I'm give it about 30 seconds at least when I've got to sort of thing now. And then once I put it out, it will be with you to see how it works, but it's not long now. Enjoy, I hope you're liking this so far. It's fascinating how cake works, but stay there for a minute. Right, I think it's pretty much time to bring the chocolate once again, once it's melted. And I've got toppings for these ones, and then I'm gonna show you how it looks at the finish. We're almost there now. I just need to bring this out now, turn the heating off, because we're gonna mix the chicken, chicken, the chocolate around. There you go, it looks very hot, so don't touch it when it's warm still. Then, your final task is mix it all around. So on here, as you can see, chocolate's melting. Go back and go up now. Oh, I might get that from that now. So until it completely melts, then you can do all the rest in good condition. All the lumps, I think they're pretty much gone now. Just making sure. Oh, I'm ready to put this on now. So we stand back, we're off. We're gonna put it in one go now. Oh. 
Now let's split it around. Now this looks amazing. Looks amazing. Now you see how I made a chocolate cake. It looks Spend very quickly. Sorry about that, just double check it because basically the oven went off for some weird reason, but it's fine, it's just because the fan inside's working. But yeah, that's your chocolate cake at the moment. Need to straighten it a bit more. So now I'm going to put some chocolate butts into it as your, as your extra element to this, all the way around the cake. Everyone's watching on Celebrity. So, this is the. Oh, it's melting my hands. Oh my god. So, I'm going to do individually. My hands with icing's melting. Oh, well, well, it's going in the fridge anyway, so it's all going to be good condition anyway. So, I do need help, Mum, today. Mum helped me yesterday to do it properly, and we all ate it in one evening last night. It was very tasty, I think. You guys want one want, want now? Right. Any more? Yeah. Need to hurry up really because we've got... It's been that for a while. Oh, this icing's just like, oh, oh my god, the icing's taste amazing. Right, no more tasting. That is your keg. Look at that. I'm gonna bring it up now. That is your cake! If you like that video ladies and gentlemen, give it a like. I know you guys like chocolate. If you don't like chocolate, try and make something simple. But that is your chocolate cake. Hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a long one, but it's well worth learning something from that today. Thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a like. Um, make sure what you think about my cooking session so far. And uh, thanks for watching. That's your chocolate cake. Yum yum.